The Seattle Seahawks traded for defensive lineman Leonard Williams, who, in my opinion, is an absolute superstar. The guy's a top 5-7 to seven pass rusher from the inside, and the Seahawks, although they didn't necessarily need the help on the defensive line, they add who I think could arguably be their best defensive lineman. Like, Leonard Williams is that caliber of player. So today, we're going to analyze his tape from the past couple of games. You can see here, he does a really, really nice job controlling the center on this defensive line game between him and Dexter Lawrence. Really nice job. Lawrence is going to really slant hard towards the left. Williams doesn't come around, makes good contact with the center, gets off the block. And he's one of the two guys that kind of gets in there. He's one of the guys that's disruptive. And this is what this guy brings. So today, we're going to analyze this tape. Very fired up for it. Let's get right into it. Now, there is one misconception with Leonard Williams, and that is he is only a pass rusher. Although he's a top five to seven pass rusher, he's still a very good run defender as well. You'll see plays like this on tape where he's able to hold the double team block, gets through it, and is able to make the play. Now, he isn't a true nose tackle, so understand that right away. He's more so of a two-eye to three technique and possibly even the four-eye or five technique defensive lineman type of defensive lineman. And you see plays like this where he does a good enough job holding on the double team. He drops the knee to really help anchor the double team block. As soon as the tackle releases, he gets past the guard, gets in there, and stops the play for just a gain of one yard. It's a really, really nice job right there. Check this play out. Leonard Williams is going to beat the left guard on this one, but he is ultimately going to get double teamed by the center, who basically lets his guy go free. Now, this one doesn't make sense to me based off of how it ultimately gets blocked, but you can see Leonard Williams' pass rush skills. As soon as he locks in with the guard here, he's going to basically swipe him away. He's going to beat him right away at the point of attack. And this is the type of upside he brings. Had the center not gotten off of Lawrence and got to Williams, to me, Williams gets a sack on this one. But he does ultimately get double teamed. Lawrence gets through there because of that. And of course, the quarterback rolls out and Kayvon Thibodeau is able to bring him down for a sack of 10 yards. But I think this play really gets started with the fact that Leonard Williams beats that guard at the point of attack. So to me, this is a really, really nice job by Leonard Williams. Yes, it won't actually go down as a sack. But the coaching staff sees it, so that's a good job right there. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Check the play out. Watch the leverage that Williams is going to get here on the left guard. And watch him drive this guy right back into the quarterback. That's a really nice bull rush move right there. Third and five, this play ultimately falls incomplete. So that's a great job right there by Williams to be able to beat the guard. Really nice leverage. Let's get into the next snap. Check this next snap out. A really nice job by Leonard Williams. He's going to double hand swipe, turn it to a rip move, and he's going to smack the quarterback. That's a great job right there. You can see the pass ultimately falls incomplete. But this is a great move by Leonard Williams. Great setup. Double hand swipes the outside arm, removes the leverage. He hits the corner, and all he has to do now is just rip, and there's the rip. Gets past him, and he's able to hit the quarterback. So that's a great job by Leonard Williams. Again, the guy's a very good pass rusher. And he's one of those guys where he's worth the second round pick. And I know some people are going to say, if he's so good, why did the Giants not re-sign him? Well, the Giants have other guys that they have to prioritize. Dexter Lawrence is arguably one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL, and the Giants already paid him. Kayvon Thibodeau was a top six pick just a couple seasons back. So he's going to have to ultimately get paid as well eventually down the line. They just paid their quarterback huge money. They got other guys that are under contract, including their left tackle. And there just wasn't enough money to go around for a Leonard William caliber player. But that doesn't mean this guy's a bad football player. And you see so many snaps like this where from a pass rush perspective, the guy's able to generate pressure. He's able to get to the quarterback and bring the quarterback down. You're going to get another defensive line game here. And this time, Leonard Williams doesn't get a sack on the quarterback. This is part of what the Seahawks will be able to do with Leonard Williams. You know, rather it's Jaron Reed or Jermont Jones, running those interior line games is really going to allow the defensive tackles to get freed up. So expect a lot of these type of plays right here with Reed or, or Jermont Jones and Williams. It's going to be a very, very interesting pass rush to really analyze as they kind of continue. Uh, the Seahawks are a great team, as we've already seen, and they got in even better this season by adding Leonard Williams. These are the moves that take teams over the top and help win the Super Bowl. Check this play out. Watch Leonard Williams control the left guard on this one, gets the hands right on this guy, and ultimately he sets the edge. The running back still tries to hit it through that gap, and Leonard Williams blows this play up, only picks up about a yard. It's a great job right there to control that offensive lineman. You got another really, really nice run rep once again by Leonard Williams. He's going to take on the guard here, 
really set the edge, right? Really reset it and really get into it, penetrate the backfield. I mean, this is what you want to see. Not only does Leonard Williams get right into this guard, he gets his hands right to the inside. He's going to reset the line of scrimmage by pushing this guy backwards and getting that depth, right? And that's such a big part of being able to play defensive line and forcing the running back back to the inside. This is what you want to see by Leonard Williams because ultimately you have a backside pursuit uh, or maybe it's a D tackle in this instance, kind of a bunch of different guys, but it really starts with Leonard Williams being able to reset the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. It's a great job right there. Let's get into the next snap. Check this next play out. You got a really good left guard here. He's going to throw both hands right into Leonard Williams and Williams is going to swat those hands away, hit the corner, and he has a free shot at the quarterback on this one. Now, of course, the Dolphins offense is a very quick pace pass game. So with this play, the quarterback really just takes a one step drop, gets the ball out. So the D tackle isn't going to actually get pressure or get a sack. But you can see that this is how quickly Leonard Williams is able to win his rep. You can see that he's in the backfield here faster than any of the other defense alignment. He's hit the corner and he has a shot at the cornerback faster than any of the other guys. You can see these guys are handled up here. You can see Kayvon Thibodeau just kind of going around the edge. But it is Leonard Williams that wins and gets close to getting to the quarterback, right? He generates a little bit of pressure. And this is what you should expect him to do for the Seahawks. All right, you guys, check this snap out here. You're going to see Williams do a really nice job against Damian Lewis. Uh, really just overpowers Lewis on this rep here. And he's able to beat him and generate some pressure on the quarterback. Now, the quarterback does a great job getting out of here. I don't know how he does that, but uh, Geno Smith does a really, really nice job. Uh, but you can still see the power. And I think watching some of these snaps against the Seahawks are really, are, are really valuable because we know what type of offensive line the Seahawks are, especially with a guy like Lewis. Right? We know Lewis is a very, very good football player. Uh, and Williams is a pretty nice job being able to kind of get through there, show off that power against a really, really strong guard. Now, Lewis does do a pretty nice job sticking to him and pushing him upfield. And, of course, that allows Geno Smith to climb out of there. But, again, that's a nice rep nonetheless to generate a little bit of pressure. Check this next rep out. You're going to see Williams jump the gap on this one. He makes a pretty nice play on the ball. Now, he technically just goes unblocked on this one. Uh, it's a nice job by him to be able to jump through it, see it, and blow the play up. And here's the final snap once again. Just a great job fighting through the block and ultimately making the play. Spencer Burford's a very good, powerful right guard. And you can see the power behind Williams to be able to fight through it and really get around the block and make the play. So that's a nice job right there by Williams to wrap the running back. Overall, I really, really like this trade by the Seattle Seahawks. I know some people will say giving up a second round pick plus an additional pick may be a little bit too much. But do understand Leonard Williams is one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL. All right? When Jermont Jones came from the Denver Broncos here to the Seahawks, I think you not only added a guy that can pass rush, but now you're adding another guy that can pass rush. And I think that's going to open up so many lanes for the Seahawks. Now they have like six or seven guys that you can rotate in and out. And you have a guy in Leonard Williams who may be the best defensive lineman for the Seahawks. Arguably, he's one of the best defensive linemen for the Seahawks. The guys are dropped their powerful, physical. And I'm very fired up to watch these next couple of weeks because the Seahawks are already at the top of the division. They're already at the top of the conference, or at least they're right there. I'm very, very fired up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be following up maybe later this week to analyze this past game as well. Obviously, with the Leonard Williams news dropping, we kind of put that on hold. So, so do subscribe. If you're not subscribed, we will be doing another Seahawks video in the next couple of days. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.